Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are throwing it back to an old time favorite video, which is a favorites video. You guys used to love my favorites videos and I haven't done one in a few months, so I figured January was the perfect time to let you guys know what I have been loving in the new year. So I have a lot of really great stuff today and I do have quite a few things. So we're just gonna dive right into it, but if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And let's just get started. So as usual, we are going to start with my beauty favorites. I have three here to share with you guys today. And the first is a nude lip combo. I used to have so many nude lip combos in all of my favorites videos, but I felt like it kept getting repetitive, so I kind of stopped that. But you guys always ask me about my lip situation when I wear, especially this one in videos. So I'm going to tell you guys today what it is. Basically what I do is I use a dark lip liner. So this one is by Kylie Cosmetics. It's what I'm wearing today and it is in the shade Coconut. I love it. I think it is beautiful. This is hands down my favorite lip liner at the moment. I just can't get enough of it. I think it looks good with pretty much all of my lipsticks. So I have been wearing this to death. I probably need to buy another one just in case you know those sort of products where you just like feel like you need to buy a million of them I will swatch all of these products and then I will show you at the end and then the lipstick that I'm wearing with it today this isn't always the lipstick I wear I also wear um the Jaclyn Hill cosmetics lipsticks I know controversial but my lipsticks didn't have any issues from her so I still use mine and this one is the lightest shade I think it's called Amaze Balls. is that it am I making that up to be weird anyways that one is really really light and it looks really good in the center of your lips um, sometimes I'll take this lip liner and kind of drag it into the center um, or the corners and then I will put the lighter lipstick on over top this one that I'm wearing today is the MAC Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Darling. It's literally how it's spelt. So um, I'm not sure if you can buy this on its own. I will definitely look but I got this in a like set that they were doing I think through Nordstrom. So I will look but I really like that and they probably have something similar so I will link a couple of options down below but basically just a darker liner and then a lighter lipstick and then the gloss that I have over top of it today I also love and this is the Chanel gloss in the shade. It's the Rouge Cocoa Gloss in shade 774. Anyways it's just a like neutral gold sort of gloss here. I love this. I wear it constantly. It is perfect. The Chanel glosses are a little pricey but to me they are worth with it they are absolutely beautiful so here are those three products on my hand so of course this is the coconut lip liner the MAC cosmetics lipstick and the Chanel lip gloss all three of these are beautiful and that is exactly what is on my lips today and like I said I love it this is my go-to for a nice glossy pouty nude lip you know it looks good put it with anything and you are good to go sort of lip combinations next up is a concealer I have really been loving the Hourglass Vanish I think that's what it is the Vanish concealer I'm in the shade sepia and I really like this guys and you all know I have been a shape tape girl through and through for years now and I still love my shape tape but I thought it was time to try out a new concealer and this one is a really nice comparable option I mean not that this one's any cheaper but you can get it at Sephora and I do think that it is really really nice I like the applicator it's kind of like a flat sort of doe foot it's um, pretty skinny and I like it because it's really great to get like right under your eyes right there and it does dry a little faster than my shape tape does but that's not really an issue for me I can kind of blend it out and still work with it it hasn't given me too many issues in that department but I have noticed that it's really long wearing it's definitely full coverage um, it makes my under eyes look nice and awake I guess and then the last makeup product that I have to talk about is the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics um, Highlighter Palette and I know a lot of people did reviews on these and they were very in-depth and great. I didn't do anything like that but I did pick up pretty much everything in her collection. I picked up the palette, two of the beaming highlights and a mood light highlighter and um, I like all of them but I definitely think that the palette is my go-to. It's very user-friendly. I can just kind of get it out and choose whatever shade that I want and all of them look great. The formula is really creamy, very nice, does not emphasize texture. I find that her beaming light highlighters do emphasize the texture 
texture of my skin a little bit so with these they are very smoothing and don't do that at all and I kind of find that they have just as good of a highlight so there they are swatched I mean they really are absolutely gorgeous and I feel like you get a complete and total different color with each powder which is nice I hate highlight palettes that end up all looking the exact same with these I feel like you really get something different with each one but yet they are all so beautiful so if you guys have not tried her highlighters I believe they are still all in stock so I will link them down below and this is the flash one she does have one other like color for I think deeper skin tones but the flash works perfect for me and I am in love with it another sort of beauty fave is this Revlon brush hair dryer thingy I'm sure you guys have probably heard of these as well this is my favorite thing for my hair since I don't even know when. I'm obsessed with it. It is basically a hair dryer, but it's also a brush. So I get out of the shower, I put my hair in a towel, whatever, and then once I'm ready to sit down and dry my hair, this is a lifesaver. Basically, you just take chunks of your hair and kind of, I go like this, you can kind of give yourself a blowout like that. A lot of girls who like their hair straight like this because you don't have to blow dry and then straighten. You can just straight up blow dry and straighten your hair at the same time time. I don't really wear my hair straight so that isn't really what I use it for but I kind of try to curl it in and give myself like a nice little blowout and for me it just adds a lot of volume to the root of my hair which is super important for me. It's kind of like giving yourself a blowout at home. So I definitely recommend this guys. It is like $30. Totally freaking worth it. They're not paying me to say this. I wish Revlon and I were partnering together, but because um, I think this is an amazing product and such a good comparable option to some of the other really expensive ones we're seeing. Like I think Dry Bar has one and then Dyson has a really expensive one as well, but this is a good option and super affordable and I feel like anyone who has this would definitely like it. Next up is two things I have been using in my like sleepy time, nighttime, bedtime routine. The first is the Bath and Body Works Balance Juniper and Coriander. Coriander? Did I say that right? Pillow mist. And I love this stuff, guys. Basically, I spray it on my pillow every single night. I do like six sprays. My husband is like, Kayla you are doing too much. And I'm like, no, I'm not. It's necessary. It smells so good and it really does help me relax and fall asleep. Mm, I don't know what it is. It kind of smells like cologne, but like lavender-ish as well. Lavender-ish, not a word. It says the juniper, juniper oil is supposed to stimulate positivity and mental clarity. And then the coriander, 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 I don't know coriander I don't know that is supposed to help regulate emotions so and then of course the sleepy time sort of thing but it does say it's an eye irritant so if you have really sensitive eyes maybe stay away from it but it hasn't bothered me at all it hasn't done anything weird to my skin nothing it's been perfectly fine it is with essential oils natural essential oils so if you don't have an issue with essential oils you shouldn't have an issue with this and then the other thing I've been using every night before bed is this Victoria's Secret Goodnight Kiss Overnight Lip Mask my cousin actually got me this for Christmas and I have been using it every single night I swear guys this is better than a lot of my like Laneige lip masks like I don't know I like this one kind of better because it's just so easy you just put it on right directly with the applicator and it is really like thick I mean you want a lip mask to be thick and really really softening I feel like I wake up with nice plump beautiful soft lips I mean that might be a little dramatic I don't know if it can completely change your lips but you guys know what I mean my lips are definitely softer in the morning so this stuff definitely works I really like it and it is pretty affordable so it's a good option if you have an issue with like chapped lips in the winter time all right y'all let's Let's talk about some phone cases. These are my favorite phone cases recently, like by far, and they are the loopy phone cases. So I have one on my phone right now. This is the leopard one, and it basically loopy cases. What they are all about is having a loop right here, so you can see right there, to protect your phone. It's kind of like a pop socket. Um, you can kind of hold your phone. You're never going to drop it if you're carrying in a bunch of groceries. I love this because you can carry things with your hands and still have your phone attached. But the thing about the pop socket, I know a lot of people love their pop socket. The thing about that is 
it can come off. Unfortunately, I mean, it, it, it usually doesn't, but there have been times where pop sockets have just detached from the phone and bam, your phone is dropped. Whereas this one, it is behind the case. So you really, there is no chance of your, this coming detached. You're not going to drop your phone at all. I really love that about it. And the loops are interchangeable. So if you wanted like I don't know, just a plain white one or something different, you could do that. They have phone cases, of course, for all phone styles and everything. They have a lot of different colors. So I have a couple more here to show you. The Leopard has been my favorite as of recently, but I have two more to show you. They also come in these really nice cases. Look at that, how cute. So I got the um, white one. So this is just the white ombre, just has the clear loop right there. So you can kind of see here a better idea. Um, they just have these little things right here. So I got the white ombre, which is just a very basic, simple one to have. And then this one is gorgeous. I'm excited to put this on in the springtime. But this one is just the purple marble. I love this as well. It is just so cute and girly. They also have like black ones. They have floral ones, one with a cactus print, I think. And they actually did send me a coupon code for you guys. So if you are interested in loopy cases, use the code Kayla Nicole for 10% off. I don't get anything from that. That, but they just were kind enough to send that over for you guys. So if you do want to check out a loopy case, use the code Kayla Nicole. All right, guys, a couple of fashion favorites. I have a couple loungy type favorites first. The first one is this sweatshirt from um, Shop Good To Be. If you don't know what that is, it is the shop that Alexandra Garza and her husband Michael own together. I love them. I've been following them for years. They actually remind me so much of me and my husband. We were like high school sweethearts and so were they. So I just love them and I have always like supported their brand and stuff. So I got this sweatshirt and mine is a little rough looking because I spilled wine all over it because of my I, long story. You know, it was one of those nights having a bad night, spilt wine on my sweatshirt that I had just got and then I like over cleaned it and now it's like all pilling and stuff. So I think I'm going to order another one here soon. But I love this sweatshirt. It is gorgeous. As you can tell, I love just wearing crew neck sweatshirts like this. Um, so this one is really pretty. It is like a tan color and it says coffee and hustle, which is totally my vibe like every single day. It's so neutral and like chic. That's why I like it. It's like a sweatshirt, loungewear, but it's chic. And I like that. I think it's adorable. They have a lot of really pretty designs on their website. I recommend it and it's really nice quality. I got mine in a size extra large because I wanted it to be really like oversized and I'm really happy with that decision because it is nice and cozy and I wear this all the time. Also, I don't know if I've talked about these already, but I did want to mention these because I've been wearing them quite a bit lately. These are just my leopard Ugg slippers. My mom actually got me these for my birthday back in October, um, but I wear these nonstop. Ugg slippers are the absolute best. They are the greatest quality of any of my slippers. I can wear them for years. I've literally had one pair of my Ugg slippers for probably the four years now and I still wear them, but the leopard ones have definitely been my most recent fave. I like that they have like a hard bottom so they're not going to like get destroyed completely if I walk outside on my porch and stuff. Another fashion favorite I wanted to talk to you guys about is my Roxbox earrings. So if you guys haven't heard of Roxbox, basically I'm not gonna sit here and like talk a ton about it, but basically it is a jewelry subscription program. So you pay per month and you get three items sent to you each month and you can wear them as much as you want and send them back whenever. Or if you choose to purchase them, you can do that. But if you don't want to, there is no obligation. You just ship them right back and they will ship you three more. If you're someone who wears jewelry a lot, it's so cool because you can always be switching your jewelry out. One piece that I got that I absolutely love is this pair of earrings. So I'll get up close so you guys can see, but these are just my absolute favorite simple earrings. I wear these almost every day. It's like the coin right here, but it has the little diamonds. And I don't know, if you're not feeling like wearing studs, but you don't want to wear anything too dramatic, these are perfect. So I'm definitely buying buying these from my rocks box. I do also have a code for rocks box. This code allows you to get one month free from rocks box. So your first month will be absolutely free. So you can kind of test it out, see what you think about it. And then from that point, you can decide if you actually do want to subscribe yourself. My code for rocks box is Kayla Nicole XOXO. I will put it here and that gets you your first month free. I will say on rocks box, they have a lot of designs that are really similar to really expensive brands that I 
pricey and it's way cheaper like it's really not that expensive and it's discounted stuff they have Kendra Scott they have a lot on there guys so go check it out if you are a jewelry snob like me I just love having new jewelry pieces it's like one of my favorite ways to dress up an outfit so if you guys are like me I know you're gonna love it all right you guys next I have some like food and beverage favorites so first I wanted to talk about my favorite Spindrift sparkling water this is my favorite brand of sparkling water I've tried LaCroix um, bubbly I've tried a lot of them and Spindrift is definitely my favorite basically with Spindrift they use real fruit whereas like LaCroix is always zero calories and stuff and that's awesome but um, Spindrift definitely it has like three calories or sometimes five or whatever but I feel like it's better because they use real fruit and not all of the sparkling water companies use real fruit for instance in this one it just has carbonated water and lemon juice that's it so if you are a soda addict and you're trying to kick it for the new year I definitely recommend something like this because it's still gonna give you that feeling of drinking a carbonated soda but it's not bad for you at all it's actually really healthy for you and um, isn't putting a lot of like added sugars in your body if I'm not drinking a spendrift lately I definitely have had one of these strawberry acai refreshers in my hand if I'm ever at a Starbucks lately I don't know if I'm just not feeling coffee I always get one of these and I love them I'm obsessed they're so good and just refreshing I mean that's literally it's a strawberry acai refresher but they really are it's like it's kind of sweet because it's fruit you know but it's still like light and airy at the same time it's so good sometimes I like coffee but sometimes I don't know I'm just not feeling it so I always have to have like a second option like I have my coffee order and then my second order and lately it has been this I also like the unsweetened green tea that is another good non-coffee option but I don't know something about the springtime coming makes me want the strawberry acai next up are two totally random food favorites but you guys like it when I include just like lifestyle stuff everyday stuff that everyone could use and that's food you know so the first thing that I was going to talk about is the peanut butter checks cereal I know these probably are not that great for you actually they're not great for you at all well they are gluten-free and they have no high fructose corn syrup and no artificial flavors colors or preserve it preservatives so they're like you know I don't know let's not talk about if it's good for you or not but if you just want a tasty snack or I mean you could eat it for cereal too but honestly I will just like eat a handful of these just snacking and they are so good my mom is actually the one who turned me on to these she was like have you tried the peanut butter checks and I'm like no and then I was at her house one day and I was starving she had peanut butter checks and I'm like I'm just gonna fix a bowl of this and it was delicious they're not overly sweet or anything that's what I like about checks is it's like very basic and then they just add a little bit of flavor to their flavored ones and it is so good if you like peanut butter definitely try them the second thing is kind of healthy though because it's hummus and like hummus is supposed to be healthy right so this is my favorite hummus on planet earth guys if you give me another hummus I'm like mm, no if you are someone who you've tried hummus before and you're like eh, I just don't know I'm it's not my favorite try this one and I swear you will probably like it it was also on sale see that hee <laughs> hee woohoo great price anyways this is the board head fiery chipotle pepper hummus so they didn't have it the last time we grocery shopped so we got the sabra red roasted pepper or something and that one is just not nearly as good and it has 20 more calories okay so this one has only 50 calories per two tablespoons and it has um three net carbs it has do, 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 only one gram of protein, 3.5 grams of fat. Less calories, better tasting. It is a little spicy, so if you don't like spicy, you're not gonna like this, but I just eat it with the um, original pretzel crisps. You definitely have to portion control, guys, because I can get crazy with this and like eat the whole half container, and that's not good, you know? But if you're a hummus girl, you gotta let me know if this is your favorite ever. Like I said, spicy. But good. All right, you guys, the last thing that I usually do is tell you kind of what podcasts I've been listening to lately. It really hasn't changed. I haven't been listening to too many podcasts. I've been doing a lot of like e um, audiobooks and I've been really into music lately, but I still am on my crime junkie kick. I listen to that every Monday and then a couple of other ones I don't know if I've mentioned, but I've been loving some YouTuber podcasts. So the one that I listen to a lot is Gals on the Go with um, Danielle Carolyn and Brooke Michio. Mickey, yeah, Michio. I think that's right it's just like very 
chatty, um, just kind of like easy to listen to. They just talk about different topics and something new each week and I just really like that. And then I've also sort of been listening to the Mood podcast by Lauren Elizabeth. I think that one's really good as well. She is someone who is just kind of like chill, just talks about anything. Um, her mood, like it's called mood because she talks about like her mood each week and everything like that and some different topics and subjects and all of that. So I really like her and hers is fairly new. So um, that's always good because you can kind of I don't know, start from the beginning and grow with the podcast. So I've really been liking that one if you just want something like easy to listen to, nothing too heavy, I guess. Um, but anyways, guys, that is it for my favorites. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you still like favorites videos because I love them. They're so easy for me. I just get to sit down and talk about what I've already been loving, which is great. So um, let me know what you have been loving in the month of January and I will talk to you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, guys. 